Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be testing out some Steam games on Linux with the 5700G APU. Now this build here was done a few weeks ago. I did a full video on it. I just ran Windows with it. But ever since Valve announced the Steam Deck and we know that it's going to be using a Ryzen APU, it's also going to be using Proton to run our games in Linux and that's out of the box. You can install Windows if you want. I've had a ton of people ask me to test out Proton with this APU. If you're not familiar with Proton, basically what this allows us to do is play games that were only designed to run in Windows on Linux. It's a compatibility layer designed by Steam and another company called Code Weavers and it's actually come a very long way. You can use the official builds that are built into Steam or you can download a third-party one built by the community, but in this video I'm going to be using the ones that are built into Steam on Linux. Now for this setup here, like I mentioned, we have the 5700G. This is the most powerful APU build that I've ever put together. I've got it water-cooled, I've got it overclocked on the CPU and the GPU side of things, and I'm using 4400 MHz RAM with it. It actually performs really well. Give you a quick rundown, we have 8 cores, 16 threads, I've overclocked all 8 cores to 4.6 GHz. The built-in Radeon 8 graphics have also been overclocked to 2300 MHz. And for this, we're going to be running Manjaro Linux, which is based on Arch. Because after all, when it comes to the new Steam Deck, it will be running a new version of SteamOS, which is based on Arch. And I kind of wanted to get as close as possible here. So for this video here, we're going to do a little bit of a face-off. I'm going to test these games in Manjaro Linux using Proton, and I'm also going to test them in Windows 10. But if you're interested in just seeing how this little setup here performs with Windows 10, I have a full video. I'll leave a link for that in the description. It's a build and all. Alright, so before we jump into testing, I just wanted to give you a quick look here. We're running Manjaro Linux. We have that 5700G. And this is overclocked to 4.6 GHz on all 8 cores and 2300 MHz on the built-in Radeon 8 graphics. Now overall, this is actually a pretty decent little setup for an APU. We also have 16 GB of RAM running at 4400 MHz. I've got Steam installed and from the settings inside of Steam, you just enable Steam Play for supported titles. And then you'll get the Advanced tab and you can enable Steam Play for all other titles. I'm using Proton Experimental here. And uh, to tell you the truth, I've actually run into some issues running different games with Proton. Like Doom Eternal was one that I really wanted to test, but no matter what I did or what flags I added to launching the game, I just couldn't get it to start up. I also had the same issue with GTA 5. Now I know there's a lot of people online that are able to run both of those games, but with the setup I have right here, I just couldn't get it to work no matter what I did. So I've got five games to test, and the first one's going to be Injustice 2. We're just going to run the built-in benchmark here. Everything you need to know is going to be on screen, and unfortunately I can't run Afterburner in Linux. I personally haven't found a way to do it successfully, so I will have to use the built-in Steam FPS counter. And while editing the video, I will have to enlarge that FPS counter because it's super small. But for this first one here, we're going to just run the built-in benchmark and see what happens. So far, not looking great with Proton. We're at 1080p low. All the information you need to know will be on screen. I've tested this extensively on the 5000 series APUs from the 5300G, 5600G, and the 5700G in Windows. This game actually performs really well in Windows on the 5700G, especially with the overclock. So we'll let this finish up. Shouldn't take too long. And then we're going to run this same exact test in Windows 10 and see what happens. So in Manjaro Linux, running Proton, we got an average of 38 FPS, 1080p low. Here it is, running in Windows, same exact settings, 1080p low, and I can tell you right now that it's already running better. This little APU doesn't have any extra compatibility layers like Proton to get through while we're running this game in Windows, so... Uh, I mean, it definitely looks like it's performing much better, and in Windows 1080p low, we got an average of 52 versus Proton at 38. So Windows takes the win here with this little APU, but uh, I did run into some games that ran much better in Proton, like The Witcher 3. I was very surprised by this one here. Manjaro Linux, Proton, 900p low, Witcher 3, we got an average of 71 FPS. This is very playable in Proton on the 5700G with this overclock. And, you know, I don't mind playing this game at 900p. I still think it looks really good. And, yeah, Proton did beat out Windows here. I'm going to pull up a side-by-side. -side. Windows will always be on the right-hand side. 
we only got an average of 58 FPS with Windows 900p low versus Proton 71 FPS average. This was very, very surprising to me. I mean, this game does run better on these APUs than Proton. Moving over to Fallout 4, this was just another one that I could easily get running in Proton. We're at 1080p medium settings, and I gotta say, the color palette or the color adjustment in Manjaro Linux right out of the box is much better than Windows. And I'm sure it could get Windows to look this good, but you know, I love the coloring here. When I moved over to Windows, it was really dull, and I actually went back and re-recorded a couple times just to make sure that I had the settings correct. But as you can see, over on the left-hand side, we have Manjaro, and the coloring does look a lot better. But we got better performance in Windows with this one. I only got an average of 45 FPS with Fallout 4, 1080p medium with Proton, and it did run at 60 on Windows. Here's Project Cars 2 in Proton, 1080p, low settings. By the end of this run, I had an average of 87 FPS. Fully playable in my opinion, and uh, if you wanted to drop this down to 720p, you can get well over 120 FPS out of it, low settings on this 5700G. This was another one of those games that just worked right in Proton, I didn't have to use any kind of custom flags or anything like that, and overall it's very playable. So let's go ahead and bring up the Windows version. Windows did have a little bit of an upper hand here, but you really wouldn't notice it. I got an average of 89 FPS with Windows and 87 with Proton. And the final game I tested, one of my favorites still, this is Skyrim Special Edition, 1080p medium settings. We got an average of only 42 FPS with Proton. And when it comes to Windows, we got an average of 51. So again, not far off from each other, but Windows does take the lead. Now remember, Proton is always being worked on. There are custom versions of Proton that might work better on the 5700G. These were just the settings I used inside of Manjaro Linux with the stock version of Steam. Now I've tested Proton in the past on a higher end GPU and all of the games that you saw running in this video ran over 60 FPS and that's because I had more GPU power. I'm sure when it comes down to, let's say, a dedicated AMD or a dedicated Nvidia card, you're still going to get great performance out of everything that I tested in this video. But remember, we're working with integrated graphics here, and that was really the whole point of this video. I've had a lot of people ask me to test out Proton on these APUs, because I do a lot of APU videos. And Proton has been getting better and better. It's been worked on by Steam and the community. You can actually head over to this website called Proton Database, and it'll let you know if that game is compatible, what version of Steam Proton you should be using with it, and if you need to run any kind of flags while launching the game in Linux. I'll definitely be keeping an eye on this with these APUs, and as soon as I can get more games up and running with the 5700G like I have it set up right now, I will do another video just showing off the performance of higher end games. But like I mentioned, I had issues launching Doom Eternal and GTA 5. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. I really appreciate you watching. If you've been using Proton on these 5000 series APUs, let me know your configuration in the comments below. What version of Proton you're using, what Linux distro. I'd personally like to get a little better compatibility out of it. But I went with Manjaro because it's based on Arch, and that was one of the main things a lot of people were asking about. If you have any questions, let me know down below. And like always, thanks for watching.